Hello, uh, we're going to be talking about how to use Shredder Classic 4 um, to uh, chess program to be able to uh, first show you how to use it to set up positions on the board um, to quiz your students um, and uh, also concentrate on how to use it to uh, it's a great program to be able to take a lot of the things that we have a lot of problems that were on worksheets for paper for our students um, but now if we're wanting to use for online lessons what we can do is take those uh, let's say six problems that were on a worksheet um, put them into a, um, a program on the computer where we can load each of those positions uh, into shredder classic four so we can do it quickly uh, without having to set up a board or do anything like that so we can uh, have it loaded and be able to show that so um, the first window I'll show you here is the initial opening window. Um, this is when you first open up the program. It will go to whatever screen you had it on uh, when you exited the program, which is the one you have here. Also, this tip of the day window comes up, um, which gives tips about how to use a program. We, if you want to keep seeing other tips, you can hit next, but we're just going to hit OK and let that disappear. Um, so we'll go first of all to show how to edit the position here to edit the board. So if you have the board up and we want to edit the position now to set up something uh, for our students, um, this is the dialog box that comes up in which we can do the changes. Um, this board obviously says we'll clear the board. If we are doing something showing an opening, then we can just put it on the start position. It puts right back to the start there too. If we were doing some changes with it, but suddenly realized we just want it back to that position we started with, you can use the current position and put it, or, uh, sorry, put it back to the current position that it's on on the board already. Um, if you're wanting to, let's, I'm going to clear the board and let's say we're just doing a king queen endgame. I'm going to click on there. So click on the thing or two. You can just actually click it. You don't have to drag it. And now I'm just going to move it to wherever it needs to be and click once more on that space. I need to go over now and I'm clicking once on this queen and click on the space it's going to go to. I'll click on the king, put it on the space it's going to go to. Now, if I'm ready to activate this as the position, I'm going to make sure I tell it which whose move it is in this position. Is it whites or blacks? So that, that'll be done with this right here on the side. Um, and we'll get to some of these other things then too. At this point, we'll go ahead and just hit OK. And there we have our screen. We told it that black is going to be moving first um, as we do it. So now, um, if we were just, if we're um, doing it with the, uh, um, with the students, we want to first of all know what mode we're in. Um, if you put it in, play against computer. When you make a move, it's going to have the computer's going to come up with the best move. But sometimes that's not what you want to do. You want to show you want to show um, moves that are coming up. Let's say on your screen, you know the um, you want to show what happened in the game. Instead, a lot of times what we'll probably want to put it on is enter moves, so you can just go through the moves here. So. Um, you can just, uh, if you're working with students and just want to go directly off this, you can go here and then that allows you to ask them if, where they want to move it to and you can, I'm holding it down right now to move it and then you can click it on wherever is legal. You can see this actually shows you legal positions, illegal positions you can move it to in red. Um, and so we can move it that way. So, so we can take it through like that. Um, the Windows that are open here, I'll show you in two. Right now, we just have it on the board. If you want to show a clock, you can do that. Don't usually have a notion. Here's another thing. If the notations window is open, um, you can use that if you like them too, which um, can be helpful. Now, uh, the one thing I would tell you is if when we're doing problems, we usually don't want this window open because uh, your student who's looking at a computer that can then just look to the side here and see what the next move is. So in general, when we're doing problems that we're just going to turn, I'm just going to have just the board on and leave the notation off. 
Um, let's say you're going through this king queen ending when they're having to go through the moves and you're wanting to go backwards. That's what these are for. Go back, move by move, go. Sorry, this takes back the move you had before. This makes you go backwards in time to move forward to where you've moved before so far. These ones will take it back, as it says, five moves right back to the beginning. And this will take it back to the beginning to the start of the game, which is was this position to start with. So that's how some of the functionality for it. Um, let's show how you can load a game. Let's say we're going through a, uh, we're going through a, um, uh, going through a um, worksheet with the, um, with the students and uh, maybe they've got the paper worksheet in front of you said, uh, that you've sent over to them and want them to work on the problems themselves. What you can do then is have all those problems loaded on it, which is what our goal is to have on all the worksheets we have through the Central Valley Scholastic Chess Association. We're going to have them all loaded um, into these problems here so you can be accessed easily. So to get them, we're going to go to load game. Game means it's it will show the whole progression of moves through that problem. I'm going to go back and show you where we got these from. So to do that, it's change database, which really just means the files we're using. So it'll open up your file folder and I'll show you where we got these from. Um, I'm going to go back to the to the shredder database. And we're making different things. Uh, these are all different worksheets. Or sorry, these are all different uh, categories. And within them will be worksheets. So for example, under Discover Check, we're going to go to this first worksheet that uh, we started creating, um, which is called Discover Ch Check Advanced. And I'm going to double click on that. And we're going to go ahead and go to these advanced solved problems. Um, we're going to be removing this position only. So this is the actual solve problems. And this has, uh, this shows the solve problems here. And what that does is it gets you to this box, which shows um, this worksheet has three problems on it. And these are the problems that the, maybe the student has the paper worksheet on. And so we're going to be able to then, uh, let's say, go to problem number one. I'm going to go ahead and you can either push load down here or you can double click on it, whichever. I'll push load and it should load our game here now. Now what it has is it should have the game loaded up um, so that it actually has the solution set up for the uh, um, for the person for the uh, teacher doing this. Case, you know, right now. now if you're ever wondering who moves first, right now see I'm hovering over this queen or these white pieces and nothing's coming up from it, but I look. Sorry, actually, uh, never mind that. We're not doing it. Um, this is uh, this is showing how we use the play functions from this then too. So, uh, sorry, that hovering thing was incorrect. What we're going to do is we'll show it's um, this one's black to move, and as you saw in that first description of it, when we loaded it, let me go back. It lets you know black to move to start here. So I'll reload that again. And it's black to move and it's loaded in here what the correct moves are. So that goes here. You could be asking the student what the next move is and like that. As soon as you're ready to go, you can hit that, show that white's answering move, followed by next answer move there, which is opening up this discovered check, the bishop, and at the same time hitting the queen there, which is going to take the queen and then turn that into a queen. They go there. And that's almost checkmate, all by that. To go back to all the way to the beginning again, go there. If you want the student to make a move and, and they want to do something different, you can do that, but then it's going to ask you if you're causing a different variation. Um, and you want to be careful because as soon as you do that, now you've gotten rid of the pre-programmed moves that we're giving all the correct moves for it. 
Um, and then now it won't go from there. Okay. Um, and again, if you go back, I'll go back to the position here. This is showing, if you open that notation window under Windows, it will show the notation of the correct moves. Um, and uh, again, you don't want these visible if you're doing, if you're um, asking students online to be looking at this and try to figure it out for themselves because then they can see it there. So we'll get rid of that and take that off. Okay. And that is how we use it again if we want to use, now I want to load the next problem. I'm going to hit load game again. We just did problem one. I'm going to do problem two, which we know is white to move first. And there you can ask someone to, and I'm going to, again, if the, ask the student what the correct move is, and hopefully they guess correctly, and we'll, that's showing the correct move there, discover check. Black then moves there. And queen comes with the checkmate move. Okay, uh, so that is how we access um, all the games. Um, or I should say they're truly the chess problems um, that are loaded on there from the chess worksheets.